Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Lucas Letovarez. I've been introduced. Uh, I'll be presenting on a study that is part of my MSc on the project I've been working with Jibule, JJLL, Enamkiza, and Kembata. The title of the study is The Effect of Livestock Grazing Systems on Rainland Condition Among Emerging Farmers of Cotton Province, South Africa. Emerging and communal farmers own 40% of the 14.1 million cattle available in South Africa. Livestock production from rangeland or felt in South Africa is still a challenge due to poor felt and livestock management practices, an increase in livestock numbers, and a decrease in grazing land as a result of an increase in human population. This is popular, this is popular in the Houghton province. Because of these factors, Many of emerging farmers, many of the farmers, particularly those in the emerging sector, remain poor. Studies that were done in South Africa reveal that 60% and 30% of South Africa's rangelands are in poor and average condition, respectively, while only 10% is in good condition. This reduction on rangeland productivity neg negatively affects animal production and reduces economic viability of farms. Different grazing systems introduced to emerging and communal farmers seem not to be effective in improving felt condition. The reason for failure, the perception, knowledge, and practices of local farmers are not taken into account when management plans are developed. Secondly, modern rangeland management techniques, such as fodder flow planning and felt management, are already practiced. For the advancement of rangeland implementation strategies to, be, to benefit emerging livestock farmers, it is, it is crucial to engage them actively in the identification of problems they face and in, in finding possible solutions to their constraints. Little information is known on the effect of livestock grazing system on rangeland, on rangeland condition, particularly among emerging farmers in South Africa. The aim of this study is to investigate the effect of grazing systems, continuous heading and rotational on felt condition among emerging livestock farmers of the Houghton province. For this study, we defined grazing, this grazing system as follows. Continuous as a system where animals have continuous access to the same area of vegetation throughout the grazing period. Heady as a system where animals are taken out during the day to the field under human supervision and are crowded at night. Rotational system is a system where Animals are camp rotated during the grazing period. The Houghton province is divided into metropolitan, district, and local municipalities. According to ACOX, nine felt types are found within the Houghton province, with the, with the dominant being the Pekin felt, which is represented in the yellow part, and the Simpapowan, the media, which is represented in the red part. The surveys were conducted between February and May 2014, when most of the grasses were still in a flowering stage, which is important for identification purposes. For us to assess the rangeland condition of the farms, we used the nearest plant method to determine the relative abundance values for each grass species. Three to four line transact line transact 100 meter in length were established per, per farm. Sites represented the heterogeneity and or the homogeneous felt type units. The collection of the, 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 the data that was collected was used to determine the species composition index, the basal cover, the felt condition score, the stocking rate and the carrying capacity. For the stocking rate and the carrying capacity, this way for for stocking rate and carrying capacity, they were calculated using a formula developed by Dequat, where we used the felt condition score and the long-term annual rainfall of the area. Analysis of variance were carried, was carried out using the general linear module procedure of statistical analysis system. Differences were considered significant at p value less than 0 0.05. The Statistical significance of the different means was tested using the least significant difference procedure. 
Now for the results of discussion, grazing system had a significant effect on species composition, fell condition score, and basal cover. Carrying capacities and stocking rate, however, were not significant uh, among the different grazing systems. The reason for this is with the method that we have been, with, that we used, which is the nearest plant method, it, 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 one of its limitations is it doesn't give you the accurate estimation of these two parameters. For the first graph, we looked at the effects of grazing system on species composition. Species composition, this is the number of grass species that were recorded along the line transit. We found that with heading, uh, we found that species composition was significantly higher with heading compared to rotational grazing system. Interestingly, continuous grazing system was neither different from heading nor rotational grazing system. One of the reasons, one of the reasons attributed to this was past management practices, which could have caused a decline in the species which is something also that we didn't take into account when we're doing the study. Second graph, we looked at the effect of, of grazing system on fell condition score. Fell condition score is an index of how palatable species are to livestock and wild ungulates. We found more palatable and productive grass species where heading system is used, followed by rotational and lastly, continuous grazing system. With heading and rotational grazing system, these systems, animals do not, animals do not have a chance to select areas and species. As a result, they do not get a chance to deplete species. However, with continuous grazing system, animals have a chance to select areas and species. For the third graph, we looked at the effect of grazing system on basal cover. The basal cover is an index of how soil is res resistant from, from erosion. We found that heading and rotational were not different. However, continuous was different from the two grazing systems. With continuous grazing system, one of the factors that could have contributed to this is the impact of grazing and trampling on the vegetation. For this study, we conclude that heading system consistently improves species composition, felt condition score, the basal cover, and can potentially improve the rangeland condition of the emerging livestock farmers of Houghton. Thank you.